Good morning, everyone. Uh, Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Ecuador, um, and Secretary Sutter, thank you for joining us here at the Marble uh, facility. Uh, this is one of our largest facilities for Quest Diagnostics. Uh, Quest Diagnostics is proud to say that all 45,000 people at Quest Diagnostics are working on the crisis we're into in this country. We actually brought up our test for COVID on March 9th, and we brought it up first at our California facility. We quickly now have ramped it up on a few other facilities, and this being the third. So I'm proud to say that this marble facility will have two versions of how we do testing. One is what, what's called a laboratory developed test that we brought up first in California. The second is a very accelerated platform uh, made by Roche Diagnostics, which we have in 12 other facilities. So as we speak, our volumes, our capacity for testing has gone from a very low number back in early March to a much more significant number. I'm proud to say by the end of this week, by Saturday, we'll have close to 20,000 tests per day capacity within Quest Diagnostics. I'll also say that we're one portion of the testing capacity in the United States. There's another large national laboratory called LabCorp. There's a number of regional laboratories. We have hospitals, and then of course the state and the federal government. So we're making excellent prog progress on the testing in terms of laboratory capacity. We're also working the first front end changes. Uh, proud to say that we have one of those changes happening here in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, where we have some of the early starts of doing some specimen draws uh, with the drive through center here in Shrewsbury, and we're helping with that effort as well. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to the governor. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Um, let me just say, first of all, that um, I've been to this facility before uh, to get a sense for how much capacity these folks have uh, to move tests. And while it seems relatively quiet here now, part of the reason it seems relatively quiet uh, is a big part of the operation here it takes place at what we might call off hours. Um, tests come in toward the end of the day as clinicians over the course of the day issue orders. Uh, and then this place hums like a beehive at night and it goes back and the stuff that's been tested uh, over the course of the evening goes back to the provider uh, first thing in the morning um, with results. And, uh, and when we first got into this space uh, with respect to constraints around testing, um, I called Steve fairly early in that process. He mentioned they finally got approval on March 9th to really uh, double down on this. And I called him right around that same period of time and said, I certainly hope uh, that Massachusetts is going to have a big role to play. I've been to that site. They have a ton of great people there and a lot of capacity. And he basically said, of course. And as soon as we get to the point where uh, we make the pivot and have the ability to start doing significant testing, uh, you should come out and, uh, and visit with us. And that's the reason why the Lieutenant Governor and I and Secretary Sutters are here today. Um, I think everybody knows at this point that the CDC broadened their guidelines with respect to who could be tested a little less than a week ago. Um, we incorporated those guidelines almost immediately. Um, we believe that over the course of the next several days and weeks, there will be an enormous increase in the amount of testing that takes place on a daily basis here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Um, can't happen fast enough, uh, but I do believe that with the pivots and the adjustments that are being made by organizations like Quest here in Marlboro and by many of our hospital partners and by the state lab and other organizations, uh, we will get to the point where we're doing the amount of testing every day that we believe we need to be doing. Um, the other thing I do want to mention is uh, many of you know we submitted a um, disaster request to the Small Business Administration several days ago. They turned around that request and, uh, and acknowledged and approved uh, Massachusetts small businesses for disaster recovery relief. And we fully expect we'll be working with the SBA uh, to ensure that um, their resources are brought to bear to support small businesses here in the Commonwealth. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to the Secretary of HHS and the Command Center Director, Mary Lou Sutters. Good morning, everyone. Um, 
like the governor, I had the privilege of coming to Quest probably about a year ago um, to see it in operation. And as the governor said, um, when this place hums, it's actually it's humming from about 11, 11 p.m. at night into the early morning because the tests come in, as the governor said, um, from providers, clinicians, and the like, and then the lab technicians and the epidemiologists and others sort of do the testing throughout the night in order to turn it around. Um, just to remind people of where we were, so at the beginning of this, only the CDC could do testing. And then our state lab on, I think it was February 28th, the days are sort of blurring together, um, our state lab got approval to do testing. Um, and then we started to have um, companies such as Quest really step up to provide testing. So it will be this combination of the CDC, but really our state labs, commercial labs like Quest, and then a number of small regional labs that are connected to academic medical centers, Broad Institute and the like, that we will have, we will have expanded significantly by next week, testing in Massachusetts with fast turnaround for individuals. To be clear, the turnaround, um, some questions came in yesterday. The state lab is a 24-7 operation, and it turns around its test in uh, 24 to 48 hours with Quest's ability to test in Massachusetts um, much more locally. Um, I know that the amount, the speed to get test specimens in and res uh, responses back to providers will be quickened. Our goal is to have as much testing capacity as possible and also triage testing. And I don't mean, and what I mean by that is to ensure that our healthcare workers get tested really fast, to ensure that our um, first responders get tested really fast, to make sure that folks who are critically ill um, and in hospitals get tested really quickly with those uh, results turned around so that if they need to be moved then from an ICU to a med surge bed, we can do that to in continue to increase capacity within our healthcare system. So we are, um, we're really pleased that Quest and Steve and the tremendous people who are here have really stepped up to help in the COVID-19 process.